Yet another stunning twist in the Jody Arias murder trial as the judge declares a mistrial in the penalty phase of the case. NBC's Diana Alviar has the latest from Phoenix. Diana. Andrew, good morning. You know, we knew Wednesday the jury was having trouble agreeing on a sentence, and now this very long trial is about to get much longer. They're going to have to choose a new jury for the penalty phase. Life or death? In the end, the jury couldn't decide. Unanimously find, having considered all of the facts and circumstances, that the defendant should be sentenced. No unanimous, you know, no unanimous agreement. Signed for person. A hung jury. It was too much for victim Travis Alexander's family. Arias herself appeared stunned. Even Judge Sherry Stevens seemed to need a moment to process what happened. This was not your typical trial. You were asked to perform very difficult responsibilities. Now the focus turns to the difficulty of choosing a new jury to sentence Arias. How are you going to get the jur a jury of your peers who wasn't told that for all these five months and every day on the front page of the paper was Jody Arias, Jody Arias, Jody Arias. And the headlines won't be going away anytime soon. A tough reality for Alexander's loved ones. Losing him was, was tough the first time. Going through this all over again has been incredibly challenging. And if you were wondering why Jody Arias' family was not in the courtroom, well, now we know why, thanks to an exclusive statement from her mother, Sandy. She tells us, I'm very upset that we were not called to be there. The judge shouldn't have gone forward without Jody's family present. This has also taken a toll on our family emotionally and financially. We have stood by Jody throughout the trial and will continue to stand by her. Again, that was an exclusive statement to NBC News from Sandy Arias. Andrea, back All to right. you. The trial that never ends. Thank you, Diana for that report. 